The phone's first impressions of the Laura Geller. This is a color correcting foundation. And if you wanna hear my thoughts on someone with oily, mature skin, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have my moisturizers and I did my eyebrows, but I have nothing else. So uh, here is the foundation. This is a powder foundation. Somebody told me about it. So I said, well, let me go purchase and see if I like it. Uh, it's something quick to do. Uh, like on a go type of thing. So this is kind of what it looks like. This is Laura Geller And here's the foundation and like I said, this is a powder foundation So I was looking for something that was quick to go to work or just something quick that you can do uh, instead of putting a, um, a liquid uh, foundation and everything else and this is in the color tan And this is what it looks like like I said, all I did was my uh, my moisturizer and I did my eyebrows, so I'm gonna use a primer. So I'm gonna use this primer from uh, Peter Thomas Roth, and this is uh, like a correcting primer. So I'm gonna use this first. This takes kind of like any of the redness on your skin, so that's what I'm gonna do first. And I'm, just, I'm gonna put it all over my face. So as you can see, it takes away all the redness. And it comes to gives you a very neutral uh, face. The next thing I'm gonna do, I always color correct. Like I said, I did that for the redness, but then I have melasma, so I'm gonna do something for my melasma. So I'm gonna do that next. So this is what I'm using for my melasma. Okay, so I did color correcting and I'm gonna do color correcting underneath my eyes. This is from Aldenis and I'm gonna color correct. So I'm doing all my creams before I do the powder because the foundation is a powder. So I need to do everything that's a cream before I put the foundation and I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I color correct it now underneath my eyes and I'm gonna put now my concealer. I'm gonna use this one from Tarte in a color medium. And then I'm gonna mix it up with the Pat McGrath. Since I'm doing all the creams before I do my powder, I'm gonna use this from Mil Makeup and this is a bronzer. So I'm doing all my contours and everything else before I do uh, the powder. And I'm gonna use this. And now I'm gonna do my, uh, my uh, concealer. So if I was doing this in a hurry, I guess, uh, I wouldn't put like, you know, the, the, the cream contour, I would just put the, 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 the uh, foundation and then I'll just like put anything on top of that. But I wanted to see what it would do with the stuff that I do on a daily basis. With the products that I put on a daily basis. So right now it looks kind of weird. After I do um, a brush, I go with a sponge. Another trick that you can do when you're doing this is that I've learned is, okay, so when you're doing your contour and your highlighting and stuff, take a picture of yourself and go back to see what areas you think that you needed to do a little more. So that way uh, it gives you, you know, when you're doing your makeup to realize, okay, you know, I need to contour more of my nose or I need to put more... Uh, uh, concealer, you know, higher or lower. So here's what I have. 
sometimes what I like to do if you wanted to go a little deeper is just use like a liquid so let me do that and that's for contour I literally just put a little bit on a container wipe the brush whatever you are using and just take a little bit of it and for instance I'm gonna do a little bit here on my nose And I kind of let it sit there for a few minutes and use the same brush and diffuse the color. And you see that right in the middle, it gives you a little pinch to it. And then I'll do a little sponge. If you feel like your bronzer is too, too low, just kind of take the same brush and put a little bit of the concealer that you had. to Kind of chisel a little bit. So now I'm just gonna do my eyes and I'm gonna use this uh, Pat McGrath and that's gonna be underneath the eyes. So now I'm gonna use the Laura Geller and I'm gonna use a brush. So I'm looking for a brush that's very tight and uh, like it's very tight from the top. So I'm gonna use this one from It Cosmetics and I'm gonna put just a little bit to see what it's gonna look like. This is so beautiful. And this is a color tan, because it's summer and I'm tanned. So I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. Picks up a lot, and I'm just gonna put some. So I have melasma, I want to see how much it's going to cover. So, let me do another layer. This is definitely light. Super, super light. And then I like this brush because it's very tapered and it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see it from It's Cosmetics. I know they have a brush for it, but I think this one is perfect. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's also not, um, it's not flat, it has like a shimmer, not shimmer, but it has like a glow to it. Let me get it from closer. Okay, here it's from close. It's very skin-like. So this is instead of using, like I said, if it was something quick, I wouldn't be doing uh, you know, like uh, oh, I did the bronzer, I would just put this on and may maybe do a powder uh, bronzer, just uh, something quick. But I just wanted to see it with a cream. And here's from even closer. Okay, so this is what I have.
So this is from Patrick Ta. Put a little bit on my nose. And this is the one with the dual powder um, cream and uh, the cream and the powder. So let me use the cream now. Same one that I used for, uh, for my concealer. I'm gonna use the side and I'm just gonna put some of my cheeks. I'm gonna bring it up my eye. So it's not moving apart. The foundation is one thing. Kind of what that's what I was looking at, making sure that it didn't move. And it didn't move. Just some on my nose. And then what I'm gonna do is take the same uh, brush that I use for my foundation. I'm kind of just tap it a little bit here. So, so far it looks really good. Let me put a little bit of a, a highlighter on my nose. Scott Barnes. So, let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. I love the foundation. It's very glowy. It's, uh, it's still, I can see a little bit of my melasma. It doesn't cover like all the way. But this is something very, um, very airy. Like very uh, skin-like. Uh, and like I said, if in a hurry I wanted just to do, um, you know, put my moisturizer and then maybe put a, 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 what do you call it, my concealer and I could just put a foundation and maybe a bronzer on top of it, I could do that. But I literally love uh, how my skin looks. It looks really, really healthy. It has like a healthy glow. Let me get it from closer. Here's from closer and the light is a little lower so you can see it better. So it's definitely the same color as my skin. And I could have put another layer but I didn't want to. I just wanted, I left it um, kind of uh, more neutral. Uh, but this is super, super nice. It's like, it, it, it just, it gets a nice glow to the skin. You can put a little bit of light on. Here the light is a little lighter. But I love it. I will use this, uh, like I said, in the morning. So if I'm in a hurry or um, it's really like the colors are like very, very nice. I'm going to use it a little more and let y'all know if I like it with my oily skin and my melasma. And like I said, my make pores. I want to see how it's going to handle for, uh, for a bunch of hours. So... Um, I'm going to put it on the description box so y'all can um, see my thoughts. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my videos.